What's going on guys and today I have a PS Vita video here for you. Uh, this is a PS Vita running 360 official firmware and I'm going to be showing you how to install the molecular shell. Uh, the molecular shell is the way to crack 360 uh, firmware on the PS Vita and allow you to enable uh, installation of uh, homebrew v VPK uh, Vita package files. So as you can see, I got my Game Boy Advance here already just as a tester because that's like the first go-to whenever I crack anything. Uh, and uh, my Vita Shell, which is just another file manager uh, that is utilizing the USB instead of the Molecular Shell, which is the FTP client, uh, which uh, you have to have an FTP client with your computer to connect to um, the IP address that your uh, local network is on so you can have this be like a file drop uh, so with the molecular shell uh, how do you get this what do you do right well it's pretty simple so simple and simply go to your web browser on your PS Vita right make sure your Wi-Fi is enabled and you're gonna start that up and you're gonna hit a page the page that you're gonna open up is gonna be HTTP colon slash slash Henkaku, uh, H E N K A K U dot X Y Z. You're going to get to a website. Actually, here I'll show you. Uh, open this up. Close that out right here. Henkaku X Y Z. Uh, you're going to open this up and you're going to see an install button. You're going to press that install button. Then it's going to redirect you to HTTP colon slash s go dot Henkaku dot X Y Z. Uh, and that's the thing that I had booting up at first section there, but I don't need that to boot up because I already have the molecular installed. Now, when you're installing the molecular, it may turn to a complete gray screen and say, please wait, or it might give you an error code. Just hit OK and keep trying. If you can't do it, reboot your PS Vita and try it again upon reboot. Uh, but it should only take anywhere from a minute to three minutes, depending on uh, what your internet speed is. So once you have the molecular shell installed We're gonna open that up and you're just gonna hit start now this install button here This is just simply for if you reboot and you have it installed on here This is gonna stay here. You just have to click that install button and it will redirect you to the go dot Henkaku dot XYZ so you can install the patches and have it work again But just make sure you never update off of 3.60 so starting up this. Now, this isn't going to look like this for you guys. This is actually the unsafe mode that I already have enabled. Uh, but how do you... Let's see. What would be the folder? Um, actually, you know what? It's not... No. Too far back. The only thing that you guys are going to see is this highlighted folder here. UXO, uh, which is your memory stick. Uh, that's the only thing you're going to see, and you're going to see home safe mode. It's not going to say unsafe. Well, how do you get to unsafe mode so you can actually use your FTP client and install customized VPK files? So you hit start, right? And you go down to enable unsafe homebrew and turn that on. Also, you have spoofed version, which I'd say put on the most current firmware so you don't accidentally update your console. And make sure PSN spoofing and version spoofing is on. Also, disable auto update. You can leave that off or on. That entirely up to you. But once you're done with that, just hit start to get that all back off. And then what you're going to do is uh, you're going to exit molecular shell completely and then reboot it. And then you'll come up to the unsafe mode and you'll see all of this right here. The GRO0 and uh, OS0, PD0, SA0, etc, etc, etc. And that's about it. So now we have molecular shell on. So this is how you install the molecular shell on 3.60 official firmware. Um, and uh, next video that I'll be doing is uh, going to be on the computer. I'll be going over how to use the FTP server to install the Vita shell. Uh, and... Um, have the uh, VP, uh, VP, la, la, la. damn VPK file, uh, the Vita package file for download there, so you can use Vita Shell, so you can use the USB uh, with uh, that program here, and just a little sneak preview here, just open it up.
is going to close your molecular shell. But And it's going to be the same thing. It's just you use a USB instead. And uh, you don't have to use a file server client uh, with your computer over an IP. So you don't have to worry about that. So that's that. So rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll have another video coming soon with the PS Vita. And that's how you install Molecular Shell. Again, 3.60 official firmware only. Uh, or lower. Lower will work. But that's pretty much it. So I'll talk to you guys later. And I'll have the next video coming out soon.